Welcome back to another Sons of the Forest update video. Yesterday they announced that the update would be delayed by one day and true to their word, it is here, a whole 1.5 gigabyte update. So pretty substantial in size and with it comes rock buildables as well as a new hard survival mode and some custom effigies. So let's break it down. First up, the new features. There's a new hard mode, like I've just uh, mentioned, and this survival mode is their first pass. So we can expect it to change potentially a little later down the line. Uh, this can be activated with a new game, but you'll find that with this, you'll find reduced food spawns from crates. Item crates will not respawn on loading anymore into a, a game a second time. And they've also lowered the amount of fish and animal spawns. And you'll receive increased penalties for eating raw or rotten meats. And if that wasn't enough for you, you'll also have decreased health and stamina regen speeds when cold. Sounds pretty fun. So if you'd like me to do a hard survival let's play, then let me know in the comments below. And if there's enough Enough interest then perhaps we'll do that. Now we do also have new stone pickups added to the world. The new rocks that are, or stones I should say for the buildings can be found littered around the floor and it works the same way as your your wood does. You can pick them up and then snap them to adjacent um, pieces. And along with that new stone buildables, this is a huge change and from the looks of it, a much better system than was what was implemented in the forest as we now have multiple buildables to work with. Notably, there's the stone fireplace, stone walls, beam and columns. And it wouldn't surprise me if they're going to be adding more at a later stage as well. But this adds a lot more diversity to our builds. And I just wish I had seen this, well, had this update prior to building this wooden castle, which I'll be showing in a video in a couple of days. So do subscribe if you want to see that. We also have custom effigies, which I know a lot of you have been wanting. And with this, the more body parts that you add to these, the more fear that they're going to cause the cannibals. Another thing that they have added is the advanced log sled, which can now hold rocks, stones, sticks and bones on top of the logs. Now, this is going to greatly reduce my worry when it comes to harvesting the resources that we're going to need for stone buildables, as previously it was quite resource intensive. Now, along with this, there's also a swathe of improvements. So countdown clocks have been added to the dining area of the food and dining bunker. Although what I'd really like is a countdown clock for cooking because fish soup takes friggin' ages. They've also added some blown apart limbs to the bathroom in the luxury bunker. The cooking pot and flask can now be dumped out by right clicking the mouse button. I do wonder though why you'd want to dump water from a flask. And the, the other thing, the cooking pot will now be placed on the fire immediately if the player is holding the cooking pot whilst interacting with the fire, which just speeds up the system. Now, if the fire is broken whilst you're cooking something, the pot will reset to water. Now, I'm not actually keen on this. Perhaps they should add something like an uncooked mix if that happens so that we're aware that we need to cook it or tip it out rather than waste ingredients, especially on hard survival mode when we mentioned that food is going to be much more difficult to come by especially given we can now re-add the cooking pot to the fire, even if it has a completed recipe in it. You can now also see the, the bonuses that are linked with cooking meals, which is a great little addition, encouraging us to make more use of this feature. By the way, there is a heap of improvements, so I won't list them all. You can find the whole list of the changes on the Steam page, so do check it out there. But there are a few more notable improvements that we should talk about, such as the rain catcher will now only show the refill icon if there's at least enough water for one drink. And they've also added some loading hints for comfort rating and sleeping indoors versus outdoors, as well as the cooking bonuses. Um, speaking of cooking again, um, let's talk a little bit about fish traps or fish in general. Fish traps now run in game time instead of real time. This will work better with us pausing and sleeping in game. 
And another thing is that the fish that we, we catch in those traps will no longer go rotten. And another great addition, in my opinion, is if you're a spear fisher, we can now stack multiple fish on a single spear, which is pretty cool. Now, along with these improvements, there are a few balances to also take note of. Notably, sleeping outdoors will now give less rest than sleeping indoors. And the amount of rest that's gained by the player is now modified by their current comfort rating, which is impacted currently by the foods and clothing that you have. Though it wouldn't surprise me if they added a comfort rating based on decorations or your buildables in game uh, within a building at a later date, similar to how they've done it in Valheim, for example. Uh, I feel what that would do is entice more players to have a reason to build a base and make use of that, which I know a lot of you want. You may also come across large demons above ground now after you've you've passed the end game event. So do be aware of that. Uh, you may have to face some of them. And the lumberjack juice recipe has also been reworked. So it's easier to make in peaceful games. Now it doesn't require arms to make, which are quite hard to come by when you don't have cannibals. The previous cooking buffs that we have had have also been given a nerf. So now they only last four hours instead of eight hours in game time, which I mean, it is what it is. Uh, there were also a heap of fixes as per usual. Some notable ones are the GPS locators on sticks now save the selected icon on saving and loading. And they have also got an improved 3D model and the advanced log now displays the right amount of sticks in the book, which is 60 rather than I think it was 45. They've also fixed some of the lake volumes which were poking through the terrain in the world, as well as a heap of multiplayer bugs, if multiplayer is your thing, and various memory improvements, which should make the game a little bit more playable. So all in all, a pretty good update. Do let me know your thoughts below. Are you happy with the development of the game so far? Do you still believe that early access was the right decision for Sons of the Forest. Now, if you do want to hear my thoughts on that topic, then do check out my video, which you'll see in, on the end screen now. But also do let me know what it is that you would like to see me do as a creative build with stone next. Should I rework the castle or sh should I build something or, or try something else for a change? Maybe a mana log or a mana log? Maybe a mana farm or house but guys we are going to leave it there thank you for watching and thank you so much to all of our amazing patrons most notably our solo clips patrons james Irwin, fireless and treble as well as our lunas the calamity ben star shoku the mn wolf and that dude aw as well as our blood moon of the day which today is scooter until next time as always ciao for now